what if a multimodal voice assistant will print money for you is that even possible welcome to the future of web where your website or your business website is no more gonna be just a simple website which has information but it will become a voice assistant with multimodal capabilities now before i move forward please make sure to subscribe to the channel because in this channel we don't just show you a mere demo here we cover the real business use case of using ai as you probably have seen me before doing so please make sure to subscribe and let us dive in into the demo first then i'll show you how it will make money for you so with that said let's dive in so let's start our dental agency website it's very clean premium looking website futuristic website so as a patient or anyone would need assistance they would just click here and a pop-up will come up as it shows it's waiting for the agent to become online just to give that feel of a real assistance hello i'm dela your dental assistant at nolab's dental agency can i know if you are the patient or you're representing the patient yeah i am the patient great to meet you what's your name uh, my name is abhijit nice to meet you abhijit now could you please provide me with your email address just to make sure we get everything right please type it carefully There you go. Thank you, Abhijit. Just to confirm, is your email address ko2gether at gmail.com? Yep, that's right. Perfect. Now, how can I assist you today? Are you experiencing any dental issues or do you need to book yeah, a routine so checkup? I'm uh, facing a bit of dental pain. And when I saw in the mirror, I like got this one. So if you can see the image, this is what I can see you know, when I see the mirror. Do you know what I... is it? Do you know what is it? Please go ahead and show me the image or describe what you yeah, see. Please, please take a look at the camera. So this is what I see. It looks like you might have some inflammation in your gums. This can be due to various reasons, such as gum disease, irritation, or infection. However, to get a proper diagnosis and treatment, it's essential to have an in-person examination by a dentist. Would you like to schedule an appointment with us to take a closer look? Yeah, sure. How much the appointment cost? The cost can vary depending on the treatment needed, but I can't provide the exact figures right now as that requires an in-person assessment. However, I can assure you that we cater to different needs. Shall I go ahead and book the appointment for you? Yeah, sure. Let's do that. So now what you have seen in the demo is not the OpenAI's real-time API uh, talking here. As I have already shown you in the previous video, the easiest and cheapest way to make this kind of voice agent. And I have actually updated that, uh, you know, the voice agent that I have shown you in the last video and added multimodal capability now, where it can also now take a look at the video feeds or image. And then based on that, it can provide, you know, assistance. Now, how it can print money, how it can help businesses. Uh, so what you have seen is just tip of the iceberg, right? There are so many possibilities that you can offer to your clients. If you're yourself in an in business like home service business or dental business, you can actually take a benefit of this kind of systems, right? But let me uh, just straight go to the point. Let's see the problem statement and how we are resolving it using this, this multimodal agent and then the second part, we will discuss what we have added into the code and how these entire things are working. Yeah, so you're with me, hopefully. So let's go ahead and do the deep dive. So here we are into our screen. So this is, let's say, a dental agency owner who needs some help. They need to grow. They are maybe just a new business or they may be an old business and want to, you know, uh, level up using technology like AI services and they need to grow they need a lot more customers because you know uh, dental agency have its own problem where they have a lot of cost uh, where they need to 
have an emergency services ready always because there could be some emergency patients coming in and if they're not getting enough patients that means the costs are burned down right so, so how ai agents can help them let's quickly uh, see that right so first thing what we are going to do in this approach is we are going to turn their website into a really modern and really up-to-date latest with te technology website it will keep it very simple as i have shown you it will be very simple uh, just one button um, for for the users to come and have a talk with the assistant so the modern website just provide value uh, straight to its user by giving assistance for free right they're not going to charge anything they, and they are not even asking for do a sign up login and all these bits so once user clicks it there it's actually doing sign up but in a very different way not a traditional login and sign up way how we are doing it so once user clicks it the multimodal assistance starts up and the assistant actually is very powerful uh, it's like a human agent so first thing it asks is is are you the patient or you are actually here for the uh, patient so based on the answer it basically gets all the user information his email address and everything uh, that's like the basic thing that it needs and it immediately saves those information into crm and now it talks about tell me about your problem now user talks about his issues potentially um, the assistant offers him to share images or video feeds or whatever as you have seen i was just showing um, i could have shown my own face as well but i i chose to use uh, an image just to see uh, how it works with with the image as well now um, i'm going to talk about the technical details later how that technology is working okay and now uh, once the user have spoken up about his issues it basically try to assess it using some uh, vision model and then it saves this information basically into the crm so after that what it is doing it's basically asking user uh, that if if the user would like an in-person appointment because it's a medical service uh, you should not use ai agents even if you have any dental client you should note that you should never actually use uh, ai to offer medical services directly so it's always best to craft your ai agents in a way that you offer them in-person appointment or um, get it checked with proper medical professionals so that's what it is doing that it is offering in-person appointment once customer agrees for that, um, then AI agent system uh, basically checks uh, based on the urgency. So for example, if it is just a dental inflammation without a lot of pain or something or broken teeth or something, then it may be not that urgent. So based on that, it can actually send two type of calendar. One is urgent calendar, which of course is going to charge extra to the uh, user. So this is going to charge probably $20 or 20 pounds or 25 pounds for the uh, appointment. With, but however, the user will get uh, appointment sooner with that calendar. Uh, otherwise it will send the normal calendar link where the user can book, let's say a week ahead uh, of the appointment. Yeah and once the appointment link is sent it can actually check whether the user have clicked the link and have actually booked the appointment or not but this is all embedded in into the ai assistant that we are showing you in this video and once this process ends this step one of the automation ends there by just doing this uh, the dental agency gets a lots of customer details lots of customer data that it needs to further probably um, align their team and everything for example let's say if they get a lot of urgent queries they might set up more a team member for urgent request uh, rather than a non-urgent one similarly like that yeah and this is just one part now the second part you can do even further automations like what happens if ai agent miscalculate the urgency what happens if customer didn't agree for the appointment or simply his internet connection is broken while uh, the communication is going on because this is all happening through browser right so this is all based on uh, internet what happens user didn't click the appointment link so based on that you can do a lot of different customized workflow in the crm uh, i have i will talk about that a little bit better uh, the best thing is what you can even do is later on you can send some special offer like a free dental checkup or something uh, and based on that the dental agency can get more customer uh, get more customer trust and all these bits right and then it can also send the review request from 
it can use AI to analyze review request form. Now, I'm not going detail. I mean, this, there are like thousands and thousands of services that can be actually developed, but I'm not going to go there now. Uh, but what I'm basically trying to say is using this kind of AI agency model or AI um, solutions, any businesses can get more revenue. They can get more better customer experience. They could collect a lot more data than a traditional business. They can have integrated review management they will increase the customer loyalty and it will also uh, do ease of business right so this is how our entire model is working the entire automation model now we will go ahead into the um, the multimodal agency part and we will see uh, how we have developed it and how it is all working okay cool so this is our dental assistant code that is running the agency. So the agent that it is running in the behind. In the previous video, I have already talked about WebRTC. So this is also powered by WebRTC. Um, so I have, I think in the previous video, I have shown you about WebRTC demo agent. If you have not seen the video, please make sure to watch the video from your right top uh, because I'm not going to go through each and every steps here uh, now because in the previous video, I have already talked about how to use WebRTC, how to use a live kit agent, set up it and, um, you know, create powerful voice assistant without spending a lot of money on, let's say, OpenAI real-time API and everything, how to do function calling within the agent and everything that I have already discussed. So in the previous video, what we were doing is we were sending the booking link uh, using the uh, book appointment function and then we were checking the appointment status asynchronously by the agent and based on that it can additionally it was additionally offering user uh, if the user cannot find the email if user needed more help with the appointment so i'm not going to cover these functions anymore uh, these functions exist today as well if you see here so in the no labs agency code we have the check appointment status and we have the book appointment as well uh, but uh, but what we are going to do is in the book appointment we can actually additionally specify an urgency flag and based on the urgency uh, it will actually send that booking link the main purpose of this video is to show you how to add the multimodal capability so how we are adding the multimodal capability is very simple now from the demo video it may look like that oh the ai system was actually continuously looking at the video feed it's actually not doing that right because if you send a whole video feed to any ai api your ai api cost will be huge and uh, maybe there are not many models which will be able to do that as well right so what we are essentially doing is we are uh, kind of taking snaps of every image, uh, maybe every second, so every few millisecond uh, interval, we are just taking a snap of the uh, screen or the webcam feed. And what we are doing basically, whenever user is saying, hey, can you look at the photo or can you look at my, um, can you look at my face or teeth and just to identify uh, what is the issue, then uh, this particular function is being called. This basically says it is called box to uh, evaluate dental issues using vision capabilities, like using image of teeth, gums, webcam feed showing the same. Okay. So when this particular description says that this particular function will be called only when um, it is being asked to use an image. And once that is done, then it's basically, it's doing nothing. It's just returning none, but this just triggering the analyze dental function now the function is doing nothing right here inside this build for example in the book appointment it was doing some uh, call but here it's not doing anything why you will see very soon um, so if you come here here below what we are doing here basically we are saying that if a function is called so this is basically assistant on function call finished Okay, so whenever a function called finished event happens, it basically checks which function was called. So if analyze dental image function was called, that actually didn't do anything. Then what we are doing is basically we are saying use image true. Now when you do use image true, what we do is basically if you go here, we are calling which function we are calling the answer uh, function, right? So if you go to the answer function here, and here use image is a boolean attribute and if we are saying here basically 
that if use image is true and a latest image is available, then please append the chat image with the latest image. So we are basically sending the last image frame that was taken from the webcam feed. Okay, but where we are actually taking the snapshots. So if you see here, so whenever there is the video track available, right, and the connection is connected, we are actually taking uh, event dot frame. So we are actually taking snaps like every uh, second. We are just taking snaps and we are keeping it uh, in the memory or in the cache. And whenever the instruction uh, match where the user have said, oh, please, can you take a look at my photo and tell me what is it? Uh, what is it the issue? Or can you please take a look at my teeth and see and say what is the issue? Then this particular function is being called. And when the function is being called, then we are actually creating this answer task with use image true. Otherwise, we are saying the image, we are saying use image false. So that is how we are saving a bunch of cost of sending images or sending videos. Uh, so apparently it looks like you are sending videos, but you are not uh, because all you need is the last frame of the image to basically analyze the issue. But yes, there may be issues where the AI agent will take the wrong image and do some wrong analysis. It is entirely possible. And that is why we need to fine tune stuff on this particular agent system. If you're really going to sell it to your clients, uh, I, but I think this gives you the whole idea how things are working, right? Now, where we are going to do all this automation workflow that we have seen, right? From the voice AI agent to the CRM and everything. So that is why we use our own CRM solutions and where we have a defined and webhook. And using the webhook, we are basically creating, a, you know, booking link and sending it. I have already shown this in detail in the previous video. Please make sure to watch the video. I will uh, attach the link in the description. And please make sure so that will give you some idea about how to do the function calling. But yeah, that is the whole process, how these are all working. So the best part is uh, I have also created, uh, rather I would say I have modified Live Kid Agency Playground UI into a more robust website that you have seen and uh, you, you can you can easily just run npm run dev and if you go to the website uh, that will show you the website that the this is basically the front end you can see all these subtle animations and once you click here that will open up the um, assistant window so all this is all built in. So you can also get access to all of this code and the agency code. Uh, agency code, I think a few of you have already got from the last video, but I'm also going to update that uh, repository. So uh, if you have not got the code yet, please click the link below and get the agency code for free. And uh, if you want this entire automations and uh, the CRM automations and this UI stuff for dental agencies or any of your client or if you're an own agency owner again use the link below and get grab all of this for free okay so with that said I'm going to end the video here uh, it's already I think around 15 16 minutes long so in the next video what we can do is we can even uh, make it much more improved uh, fine-tune stuff as well or we could try to use some open source model there instead of the GP2 vision model and see how this is all working. Yeah. So please stay tuned. And if you have not yet subscribed, please make sure to subscribe. And I hope you will stay healthy. Take care. And I'll see you on the next one.